bitch. Ho. What is up, everybody? It is your boy Scooter Brad here, back with the 91st episode of Scoot Review. Let's get it. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. Starting a brand new segment today, it's the clip of the day, and today's clip of the day comes from Crisp Scooters, specifically John DeVrend and Lewis Williams. Very, very steezy riders, these two. Damn it, dudes, that double downside pig from Lewis and the 360 frontside truck from John DeVrend was absolutely amazing. I love him. Definitely two of my most favorite riders right there. If you want to be featured or know somebody that wants to be featured, definitely chuck me a DM, tag me on Instagram or something like that, and I might feature you on the clip of the day here on Scoot Review. Before we get into the rest of the topics today, let me remind you to leave a like on this video. If you do end up enjoying it today, subscribe if you have not already I upload videos every single day. And with that being said, let's get right into the scootering news. First news topic on today's show, Sean Desi has just dropped a very slight teaser of what looked to be Kovu brand bucket hats. The hats feature a very suspicious looking zip pocket on the underneath side where it sits on top of your head, where you could keep things like, I don't know, pocket change, maybe your bus card, uh, some, t some tea leaves, maybe, I, I don't know what you'd keep under there really, I mean... I mean, it's kind of handy though. The bucket hats should be available worldwide very, very shortly. You'll be able to get them at becomearipper.com or kovubrand.com. Not too sure which one uh, is it'll be dropping with uh, at, at this point. Second news topic on today's show, very important. This coming Saturday, the 14th of January, NZ Nationals is going to be held here at Washington Way Skate Park, followed by the Street Jam on the next day. And then on the 22nd at midday, there will be the Auckland Street Jam up in Auckland City, hosted by the Yes Please crew. Now, both events are going to be absolutely amazing. Hopefully, I'm going to see you guys at both events. If you're coming down for Nationals, definitely be sure to hit me up here at Washington. I'm down there every single day. We've got news coverage on Friday afternoon for a pre-story with News Hub, and it's going to be really awesome. Hopefully, we can get some showcasing on TV. You might see your boy on channel three now uh, sometime next week you never really know but a lot of the information for the competitions will be down in the description you do have to register with asa if you do want to compete in the national competition the prizes are unknown at this point but i do know it's going to be specifically just parts for anyone who's not in the pro division and then the top spots for pro division will be receiving the wild cards for isa and qualification into asa finals and stuff like that plus a lot of prize money will be up for grabs as well but if you're not going to be here for the competition that means that you're going to miss out and i think maybe i should start covering more international competitions i think uh, that would be more beneficial for you guys because obviously most of my subs are in America, the UK. If you guys have upcoming competitions in your neighborhoods, definitely send them to me. Send me links and information and stuff like that so I can post them inside of Scoot Review so I can get the word out across the globe for those people who don't know about any competitions in their local areas. The third news topic on today's show, Nikkei Films just dropped the 858 first push edit. Now this is a first push funnily enough, for the 858 2017 production line. These line of scooters are just looking so good, man. Benny Truscott was here in Christchurch just the other day riding one of the 858 High Roller Completes. And let me just say that, like, it was definitely a very solid, lightweight complete. I really liked the aesthetics of it. And obviously, they've got SIG wheels with Josh Newbert, Cal Chandler, Chandler Dunn, Nick Air Films himself, and Jackson Bartlett. And all of the wheels look absolutely sick. They are 120 mil for all of you guys who don't like 120s. Maybe you're not really going to enjoy these wheels. But aesthetically, they are amazing. I do love the look of them. You cannot put it past 858 for producing. Producing? producing really nice products this year it's going to be really nice to see them coming out all over the globe and hopefully i'm going to get my hands on some stuff from 858 nikki films cal chandler please hit me up and we'll get a review out of those at some point in the coming weeks slash months but check out some of the footage from this video nikki films is a very very good filmer and editor trust me this the production quality on this video is my presto my friend here's some of the footage please enjoy
And now for the headline today, Root Industries has been called out by none other than Stephen Garletta. Now, this guy is good friends with Raymond Warner. You would have seen him in a lot of Raymond's vlogs. Now, what he's saying here, he works at the Scooter Zone, so I'm not too sure if this comes from a personal viewpoint or a Scooter Zone viewpoint or something like that, but apparently they had received in the new honeycomb wheels from Root Industries, and some of them were apparently being unpacked with major cracks and damage to the cores. Now, I did say back when I revealed uh, the Root Industry Honeycore wheels that these were going to be kind of dodgy with the core design like it was so lightweight and so brittle and fragile that maybe you know the design wasn't a great thing it might be a little bit sketch because of the thinness of the core and everything like that like all the weight being taken out is just making the wheels more susceptible to damage like cracks and just completely snapping out from the bearing sockets I mean you can see in the video here that there is a lot of damage to these wheels apparently they did smash them in with a hammer or an allen key or something like that they did put the holes there but the cracks were still evident and it was apparently very easy to break the wheel core itself okay you guys want to see the worst wheel on the market you guys should not buy these wheels at all this came out of the box like this well we kind of did this part like the whole like breaking it yeah, I'm not too sure where I stand in this. I would definitely have to see the wheels for myself and see how they came out of the box. I'm not sure to what extent how much damage they actually put through these wheels. For those of you guys that want the root honeycomb wheels, do not get them. They're the worst things. Let me get a thumbnail. I'm going to get a little bit critical here and just say that I don't think that working at a scooter shop entitles you to bash on other brands and products that come in. That kind of thing should definitely stay between you and the producer of the wheels of the company instead of saying, hey, don't buy these wheels, they suck. Because obviously a lot of wheels and a lot of other products do come out of manufacturing with issues. It's just a thing. Nothing is perfect and nothing ever gets produced perfectly. There are always bugs, there are always glitches, there's always a bad apple in the bunch, you feel me? So I feel like Steven, if you're watching this, like try not to say such bad things about a company when you could simply just reach out to them and say hey look i work at scooter zone we got these new wheels in and a few of them are busted we need new ones as a replacement so that's pretty much all i have to say on the topic obviously our uh, root industries is still a great company don't bash on root industries just because one wheel was bad and uh, the rest you know are still fine you know the wheels are fine okay just look if you like them buy them if they're faulty send them back it's been a while since I reviewed two video parts in the same uh, Scoot Review episode because nobody's dropping edits. Guys, where you at? The video in question is the Fazen Beltic Tour video. Now, this video has some very, very, very nice street riding in it from the Fazen team over there in Europe. And just the feel of the video is really nice. The production quality is quite decent. A lot of the clips are just, you know, absolutely banging. Lots of rail tricks. Here are some of the footage for you guys to check out. And like I said, you can cop the full video link down in the description. John Marco's signature deck is now readily available across the globe. If you guys haven't seen this in Scoot Review episodes prior to this one, you definitely need to check out this deck. Look at the thing. It's gold. It looks really sick. It's got John Marco Gatos on the bottom. The signature design looks really nice. I quite enjoy the look of this deck. If it weren't for the small dimensions, I would probably pick up one of these decks to ride for myself and check out just how well it does perform under pressure, but I'm sure that John Marco has been putting it to the test throughout the testing phases of his deck production. Anyways, you can now pick them up from various retailers around the world. So go and cop one if you want to support your favorite rider, John Marco Gatos.
The 30 high proto retro lights have now dropped worldwide. The Vault has just picked them up and made a top three highest handlebar review with said handlebars, comparing them to other bars such as the Youth Gone Wilds and the Affinity T bars, which are my personal favorite. I've got the Donatelli's. They are absolutely amazing bars. Affinity, big shout out to them. They've got the thicker crossbar, so they are less susceptible to bending. So these are still personally my favorite, but I would definitely like to check out some proto 30 highs, like just to see how really high they are and uh, just what it feels like to have such a high handlebar but other than that the final news topic on today's show it's not really a news topic it's just a bit of a plug my boy tommy has just dropped another hilarious history of scootering video it is specifically revolved around the history of the vx camera now tommy he's the owner of outset select my favorite shop in the whole world in uh, in the scooter industry now tommy he makes some really really funny history of scootering videos he did history of the chetty fender the space deck and now he's done the vx and i'm telling you this video had me in tears so definitely check the full link in the description and i'll play a quick clip snippet of it right now just to give you a tease of like how crack up this really is. Soon after Matt's sacrifice, we were blessed with videos like the Proto Catalyst 2010, which every hipster scooter rider masturbated to for about two and a half years straight. Each of these hipster scooterers then promptly bought their own VXs and filmed full length videos of their own, inspiring countless other kids to buy VXs. If you haven't been scootering for more than like a couple of years, I wouldn't really expect you to understand the whole VX thing. And I wouldn't really, under you wouldn't really understand this video in its entirety, but I thought it was really funny so big shout out to my boy Tommy. Tommy, you still didn't read my roast comment in your video. But that's pretty much it for the news today, guys. So don't forget to follow me on Twitter really quick. You can also follow me on Instagram. We got to 60k. A big pucky pucky for your boy hitting 60k. Let's get it, dog. You can also subscribe to the channel that you're watching right now. I upload videos every single day. And you can also head up the Facebook group, Scoot Review. Every post has to be approved by the admin, which is me. There are 1,400 pending posts. There are a lot of posts. I get plenty of messages saying, Why haven't you approved my post, Scooter Brad? Uh, I, you know, I posted like last week and it hasn't been approved. What's wrong with my post? I uploaded like HD, dude. There's just a lot of posts, okay? I only I really do only approve the best posts, okay? The ones that I find really funny or really enjoyable. Those are the ones that I approve, okay? That is it for today's Scoot Review. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy, Finna SB, aka Scooter Bread. And that's all for the video today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love.